Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, hey, I'm going to talk to you uh, today about uh, see growing your business. Okay, you know we talk about there's a lot of strategies we talk about and uh, keep doing these videos. But let's say you know say you get your business going. Okay, you're you're you're, you're either doing wholesale, make some fix and flips, some some terms deals, whatever, and you want to grow your business. You want to leverage not just other people's money, but other people's time, right? You, 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 you have people you hire, independent contractors, potentially employees, that kind of thing. And it's really, you know, one of the things that it's so important to do is have the right people working for you. Because I tell you what, having the wrong people working for you can be such a headache. It costs you so much money and time. Really brewing in your business, okay, with the wrong people, okay? so. This video is going to make some more videos about this, but this is this is about uh, some advice, life advice in business for you to make sure you protect yourself and your business by having good quality people. Okay, let me give you an example. Um, uh, about so so I had my you know my my wife tells me the other day my wa dishwasher's out right go in there and uh, you know in the dishwasher. You, you run you run the dishwasher and at the bottom it pumps the water out right so i go in there and there's like water at the bottom right well as you probably tell i'm not like a dishwasher repairman or whatever i don't know much about dishwasher except you hit a button and it works okay so um i call this you know repair guy up and he um he comes out right he's looking at the problem and he says well what you need is a you know dishwasher pump or something i'm like okay do it well he doesn't have the parts he has to order it, and it's a week out. So I'm stuck. What am I going to do? All right, well, I got to wait. So, you know, I'll wait out for a week for this guy to come with the part and all this. Maybe it wasn't a week, five days, whatever. So then, you know, he comes back out because he's got the part. And we're going to get it fixed. And I tell my wife, okay, everything's fine. You know, and she's like, hey, I want, to, you know, I want the dishwasher. You know, thing. I don't blame her. Uh, and so, so, you know, she goes in there. And so, anyways, he, this guy fixes the pump, puts the pump in. And I said, well, is it working? Well, no, it's not working. You need a new line for the, the dishwasher. Okay. Bloody hell. Get the – can you get one out of your truck to put it in? Because we need, you know – oh, no, I have to order it. <laughs> All right. Can you order it? How long, right? And then the new one, I have a dishwasher. Oh, well, I'll have to, you know – so – he orders it another five days, right? So then he finally comes out and he puts the sand and, and it's running. Okay. And I said, well, is it running now? You finally have the sand together? And he said, Oh yeah, well, when you know, whoever put in the dishwasher a long time ago, whatever, they they, they ran the, the line wrong or something. And so consequently, the you know, the the water uh, gets built up in the in the in the this line, anyways, to the dishwasher from the dishwasher to the sink. Anyway. The point is, the problem is solved, is band-aid on cancer, but the, the problem is still there. Now, did the numpty bother to fix the problem, like think through it? No, he didn't, because he's not trained like that, okay? And the, I give you this crazy example, because number one, it's annoying. You probably relate to this, okay? Um, but also to, to, to educate you, because most employees, most contractors, I'm serious, I hate to say most, but that's, that's the reality you need to understand. I don't care if it's a real estate agent, I don't care if it's a survey user, I don't care if it's your contractor, really about contractors. I hate to say it, because contractors need to be a lot in, in, your, in your work. Um, whatever, they are not going to be full stack. They need, they don't, they're not going to get it. They're not going to be interested in how everything works together. They're going to know one thing. This guy I hired, well, I got to get a dishwasher to work and I need to get a water pump. Oh, I don't work. All right, I'll get a hose for it. All right, well, now the hose hooks and all, you know, obviously it won't work forever, but you know, see what I'm saying? So what's, what's the moral of the story? Okay is I want you to be thinking about people who are full stack. Somebody you can say, hey, here's the job, here's the deal, I want you to fix it so we can all make money together, okay? That's a full stack real estate employee, okay? Uh, and and, and that, those are the kinds of people you need to look at. So when you, what bottom line is, when you're interviewing people, you're talking to people about your business, okay? It's about what, doesn't matter what aspect of your real estate business they're doing. You want to make sure they get it, 
They get the whole picture. They don't need to be an expert in everything, but they have to want to help, help produce results. Does that make sense? Okay. So this kind of a, anyway, this is one of the many videos I want to make about this because this is really important. And this, no one told me when I started, okay, I was hiring guys off of Craigslist, whatever. And nothing wrong with hiring people off of Craigslist, but no vetting. And then, you know, it ended up having just problems like this guy with the, with the wash machine. It's kind of a humorous story, but these are, the, unfortunately, this is the majority of people you're going to get. So you owe it to yourself to be successful. Make sure you have someone who really is interested in how your business works, okay? And, and is good at solving problems for you so that you can make money. You owe it to yourself, okay? So I'll make more videos on this, but if you like this video, please hit like below, subscribe, and make more good quality content videos uh, for you so you'll be successful in real estate. I know you work hard, and you can do this. And if you have any questions, give me a call. I'm here. I'm here for you. Uh, you know, you can do this. This is, this is a great time to make money in real estate. God bless and talk to you soon. Cheers.